This is a double rolling cone experiment and it was popular because it seems very paradoxical. What we've got is a, a double cone, so you can see the taper here and here, and you've got a ramp, and the ramp is sloping, so it's sloping upwards in this direction. But when I put the cone on it, it seems to defy all laws of gravity and roll up the ramp. So how can it be doing that? We know that things all roll downhill, that nothing will go uphill. So what's going on? How is it working? Okay, the way it works is that obviously the cone is tapered and initially when you put it onto the ramp uh, it, the, the two points at which it touches the ramp are quite close to the center of the cone so obviously the radius of the cone is quite large here as it runs down the ramp it's supported further and further away and of course because of the taper here that drops the center of the cone downwards. So as long as the ramp goes up at a less of an angle than the cone goes down, then when you put it on the ramp, it appears to go uphill. But actually the center of mass, if you like, is always falling downhill. It's just that as it goes along the ramp, the point, the point at which it's actually held is going up less quickly than the cone is going down. So actually the thing is actually going downhill even though it looks superficially as though it's going uphill. So this is the double rolling cone, but there's an alternative experiment we can do. This is a loo brush holder, and uh, the shape of it is rather beautiful. It's called a catenoid. And it's really the, the mirror image, if you like, the other way round to the double cone. So rather than, than at the centre, it has its maximum radius, it actually has a minimum here. And as you get further away from the centre, it gets bigger. To show this working, I need to reverse this. So we've still got a sloping ramp, but now the ramp slopes up to the apex. And if I put this on here, you'll see it actually rolls uphill, which is rather wonderful. So this is the catenoid.